Okay, so over a decade later, why Bad Santa 2? Why the sequel and why decide to be a part of this? Because everybody wanted a sequel. Yeah. I mean, everywhere I went, people were talking about, when are you guys going to do a Bad Santa 2? And, you know, the other part of your question is that everybody wanted to work, I think, with each other again. Because we're like family, you know, and everybody had a great time. So it's like, why wouldn't you want to do this thing again? You know, um, I think that was it for me. Uh, Brett, like, but you, you weren't even acting. Like, you're, you were in your studies, just graduated, yeah. correct? So when you get this call, what is your, like, thoughts, your feelings about it? Oh, I was over the moon. Because I knew it was, I always knew I was going to take four years off to go to school. So I knew I was getting back into acting afterwards. I just kind of wanted to focus on the school. But it was literally two days after my last final exam that I got the call wow. that we were doing the sequel. So it just, the timing could not have been any better. So I was on board from the get-go. Is this an emergency? No, I just wanted to invite you to the Christmas concert tomorrow, Willie. I'm singing in the choir. We're doing all the Christmas carols. Silent Night, Deck the Halls, Jingle Bells, Veni Veni Emmanuel. That one's in Latin. And I know you're not my real family, but when you don't have real family, then you have to make a new one. And it's actually better because then you get to pick the people who are in your family. And you're the family I picked. So can you come? And then maybe after we can go to SantaCon or... Look, I'll try to make it, okay? Okay. I'll look for you, Willie. I'll look for you and I'll wave like this, yeah. okay? Uh, okay, all right. Good deal. Okay. I'll see you. Bye, Willie. The place is going to be crowded. He won't even know I'm not there. Good. For a minute there, I thought you were going soft. I can't believe watching you, like, just seeing how you <laughs> look because <laughs> Thurman is so weird <laughs> and outrageous, but we love him. And in this film, what I love is he adds the emotional element. He, he, he puts that sense of humanity where you're reminded that Willie is actually just this depressed guy who wants family and wants that connection. Exactly. He's really kind of the only thing that brings the goodness out in Willie. So uh, I think without Thurman, Willie would be, he's already an awful person, but there would be, there wouldn't be that redeeming factor, which kind of makes the movie work. So it's kind of, he's almost, Thurman's almost like the reversed foil for Willie in that he's bringing out the goodness in him. Uh, uh. Sure you won't die up there. I've done smaller spaces, trust me. Well, if you don't make it, son, I got a cigar box to make a nice casket. Who you calling son? Well, I'm proud to say that my is colorblind, so you never know. Oh. Whoa. You go, little sperm. Get up in there. Well, you don't see something like that every day. And Tony, now your character. Let's be honest, they don't even really like each other. Like, do they, are they really friends? Like, what is this relationship really a, a, a about? Now, they don't like each other. But the thing about, they need each other. Um, he can't really work without me, and I can't really work without him. Uh, he's the best at what he does, which is um, opening up safes. And I'm good at what I do, because at three foot six, I can get into places, I can hear things. And so we work well together as a team, but we hate each other. He doesn't like taking orders from me. You got this three foot six inch guy that, you know, giving him orders. And here, you know, he doesn't like to take orders from anybody. He's his own guy. And so that's it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have to ask because, of course, I'm a personal fan of Friday, uh -huh. classic. So and I know that's one, like, I was first introduced to you, mm -hmm. and you know, rest in peace to Bernie Mac, yes. but you guys had that legendary scene and moment that everyone loved. Can you talk a little bit about just what that experience was like working on that movie? On uh, Friday? Yeah, like with that Bernie Mac scene was crazy. Yeah, it was like a party every day coming to the set because you had all these comedians, you know, and working with Bernie, I mean, Bernie Mac was just the best. I mean, that scene in which I threw the brick into his window and, and to see how Bernie Mac, you know, acted and stuff. I mean, there'll never be another Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac just was the best, you know, he had it. And what I liked about him, his facial expressions. Mm -hmm. You know, Bernie could just take a scene with his facial expressions. So he made me, 
you know, good in that scene by what he did, because he's the best. He's a, you know, Bernie was a great comedian. Yeah, certainly. Yeah. Well, I definitely love the film. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you very much. Good luck with everything.